But throughout today, we were tracking some pockets of some pretty heavy rain across the wiregrass. Largely, things have cleared out. Mostly what we're seeing on action radar are clear air returns, but off to our east and northeast, we do have some pretty heavy rain making its way just to the east of Shorterville. Abbeville clearing out now as far as that heavier rain down to the south. Gordon, Columbia seeing some of that rain at the moment. And actually, that cell that just moved just to the south of Gordon, that's pretty much fizzling out elsewhere in the area. We're going to see the conditions dry out as well. Wider view on action radar shows us that off to the west, we do have some clearing skies as those clouds move over us. We do not. We will not have any more rain move in into the overnight hours. As far as what we've seen throughout today, some spots, some pretty heavy totals over two and a half inches estimated just to the west of Troy. Not too much here in Dothan, around an inch and a half for many locations in Coffee County. Same thing for the northern fringes of Henry County, maybe just about two inches of rain for you. Drier conditions will be in the forecast for tomorrow, and we're going to look at those temperatures despite all the sunshine staying in just the upper 80s. But the reason why, check it out, our winds are going to be out of the northwest five to ten miles per hour. And that's because we have a cold front that's actually making its way through the area. So that's going to make for some pretty nice days for Wednesday and Thursday. Lower humidity, so it is going to feel a lot more comfortable despite having those temperatures not too much cooler compared to where we should be for this time of the year. Rain returns on Friday afternoon, but only about a 20% chance for us in the afternoon hours and then drying out as we do head into the evening for high school football kicking off and then for next week. Even with rain chances coming to the picture, we will be looking at hotter afternoon temperatures. So here's that front that we're tracking makes its way through Alabama winds out the northwest on the north side. That's still out of the southwest on our side of the front. That's why we still have those showers rolling through. High pressure is going to be building in on the north side of that front, bringing that drier air. You can certainly see that on our water vapor imagery, those orange colors. That's the moisture in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. When it's orange like that, that's pretty much bone dry. And you can see on our forecast model, not much in the way of cloud cover in that area. It's going to be the case for tomorrow as that front's going to be sagging through the area. We'll have a bit of clearing as we do head into the late hours, early morning hours of Thursday. Then we'll have a bit of sunshine to start the day. High pressure will build in. We'll still be on the side of that where we'll get those northerly winds for Thursday, but that will change for Friday. Some of that moisture will be working its way back into the region. Temperatures tomorrow in the 70s, warming up into the upper 80s with those winds out of the north. Some spots might be able to make it into the lower 90s, but all in all, most of us will be in the 80s. Next seven days looking pretty good as far as those high rain chances not being in the forecast. And we'll be looking at uh, around a 30, uh, excuse me, a 40% chance through the weekend. But until then, enjoy the dry weather as we head into next week. Those rain chances stay with us, uh -huh. but we're not going to be looking at too much more in the way of that. Well, you know, in that satellite picture you just showed us, I 